Moses was a man who was born to a Hebrew family. There was a ruler at the time of Moses' birth called Pharaoh, and he ordered that every Hebrew boy that was born had to be killed by being thrown into the Nile River. So of course Moses' family didn't want him to die, so they wrapped him up in a basket and floated him down the Nile River. They floated him down the river so he wouldn't be killed by Pharaoh's people. The basket with Moses in it floated past Pharaoh's house and Pharaoh's daughter was actually at the water giving herself a bath when she noticed something coming down the river. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my gosh, there's something in it. It's a baby. Oh, it's one of those Hebrew babies. I've got to go show my dad. Dad, I'm going to adopt him and there's nothing you can do about it. Sorry. Now, Pharaoh had lots of people doing his work for him, all the hard work, and they weren't treated very nicely. They weren't treated with any kindness or compassion at all. And you know what? This made Moses really sad because you know that these people were actually Moses' people before he was taken into Egypt to live. He would see them bashed oh! and abused. Oh! And he really, really didn't like it. Oi, what are you blokes doing? Don't do that anymore. Stop it right now. I can't deal with this anymore. I've got to move. So Moses did just that. He moved away to a place called Midian and he settled down and he started a family with his beautiful wife Zephorah and a few of her family members as well. So Moses, who was working as a shepherd, was out tending to his flock and making sure they all had water one day when he stumbled across this. All right, you're all right. Got enough food, got enough water. Good on yous. Oi, Barry, get out of that. Thank you. There might be a bit of rain around today, I think. Moses! What? Who said that? It's me, God. I'm coming to you from this bush over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're telling me that you're God and you're talking to me through that bush? No, no, no. You're not dreaming. It's me, God. The God of your people, my beloved family. Slaves in Egypt, I have seen the way my people have been treated and I am sad that they're suffering. They need to be rescued. Man, I gotta get some more sleep. I must be going crazy. I need to send you, Moses. Look, I'm sorry, God, but I, I think you should find someone else. I'm not very good at talking to people, especially when I'm scared of them. Moses, you're my only choice. I will give you the words to say and the things to do, and you can take your brother Aaron. Well, you're just going to have to give me the words to say, God, and, and the, the things to do, because without you, I, I can't do this. So Moses convinced Aaron to go with him to Egypt to say to Pharaoh to let God's people go. Oi, Aaron, you sweet to go now? Yeah, dude, let's hit it. They began their journey together to Egypt. Oi, Aaron. Yeah, dude. This walk's taking a while. You got any jokes to maybe pass the time a bit quicker? <laughs> yeah, I got a sick one. What about this? Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? Because it was... Oh, not that one, Aaron. That's a, that's a silly and appropriate one. After quite a while of walking and a few more bad jokes from Aaron, they finally got to Pharaoh's palace. They walked inside and they saw Pharaoh sitting on his throne. Who are you? Hey Pharaoh, it's me, Moses. Do you remember me? Moses? I haven't seen you for quite a while. Look Pharaoh, I don't have too much time. Um, the Lord has sent me with a special task. The Lord? Yeah, the God of my people, God. He told me to come here and tell you that it's time to let his people go. He wants all the slaves that you have to be free from slavery. And mate, let me tell you, he is not happy with you at all. Free the slaves? <laughs> Jeremy, do you hear that? <laughs> Free the slaves. Who's going to do all my work for me? How dare you? You come here with threats. You threaten me. You threaten my people because your God wants his people to be let go. Well, let me tell you something, mate. I will never let your people go because they do all my hard work and I don't have to lift a finger. Well, well, let's start off with one to show you just how powerful my God is. Oh, it's blood. Oh, I'm so scared of blood, Moses. 
I'm warning you, Pharaoh, every time I have to come back, it's going to get worse and worse. Blood's just the start. Your threats don't scare me, Moses. So Moses and Aaron stayed close by and returned the next day to ask Pharaoh the same question. Pharaoh, it's time. Let God's people go or else. Or else what, Moses? You're gonna, you're gonna turn some water into some blood again? <laughs> Big deal, mate. Well, sorry, mate, I did warn you. Because Pharaoh didn't do what God wanted him to do, God sent a terrible plague of frogs to flood Egypt. <sighs> Pharaoh's tired. Good night, everyone. What the? What? What? Frogs, <laughs> yuck. So Moses just kept coming. He kept coming day after day, asking Pharaoh to let God's people go. And every single time that Pharaoh said no because he was too stubborn, God sent a new plague to try and convince Pharaoh to let his people go. How about today, Pharaoh? Not today, Moses. <sighs> go away. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, I'm gonna itch again. What's wrong? Oh, man. God sent head lice. Oh. Cold, I need a blanket, but I'm also hot. Hey, can you bring me some chicken soup? And maybe something and I can pop this blister with? Oh! So you're telling me that a locust ate all of our food for the winter? Yep, that's what I'm saying. The locusts ate it all. Get away! Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Ooh, baby, let my people go. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what, Moses? Since you're such a beautiful singer, and I'm sick of these plagues, I guess you can take the slaves with you. Yes, I will let God's people go. Haha, <laughs> I knew the song would do it. Thanks, Pharaoh. Are you serious, though? Are you really serious? Oh, yeah, you... Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can do that. Yes, 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 stop asking. Really? No, 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 I, but for real. Haha, <laughs> tricked you, Moses. I, I, pff, as if I'm going to let your people go after all of this. One last chance. Let God's people go now, or you're not going to like the next plague at all. Toodaloo, Moses. Okay. Now, the last plague that God had in store was to kill the firstborn of Pharaoh's sons. Now, this is a little bit of a sad part of the story, but it did end up leading to this conversation between Moses and Pharaoh. I'm sorry, Pharaoh. I didn't want it to come to this. I did try and warn you that uh, something bad was coming. Moses, your God killed my firstborn son. I just wish you had done what I'd asked you to do. Then it wouldn't have come to this. I guess I didn't understand the power of your God, Moses. Take all the slaves and leave me to be. Please don't come back to Egypt. Moses and everyone were free. There were no longer any slaves in Egypt. Moses walked out of Egypt with all of God's special family. Yes! Woo! Party! Party! <laughs> God's family. And in one last display of God's amazing power, everyone that Moses just saved ended up at the sea, with everyone from Pharaoh's army chasing behind them because Pharaoh had changed his mind. Moses took his staff and all of the confidence that God had given him in his heart and he raised his staff towards the water and this happened. All of God's people were saved. They were able to walk through the middle of the sea to get to the other side away from the people that were trying to catch them. This is just another story of how amazing the God that loves us is. I hope you enjoyed today. I can't wait to meet you all in person. As soon as I can come visit, I'm going to. Thanks for a great term. See you later.